Hi friends, it's Leah here. Today I'm discussing about the mystery of memory. There is nothing called good memory or bad memory. There is only trained or untrained memory. Today I'm going to explain six simple basic principles that is unique. First letter U stands for user head and heart. Reading is one of the steps for learning. So you just use your brain as well as heart to feel the concept of reading. Look for headings and subheadings with your eyes. Speech out the main concept so that you will listen to words and you will familiarize it. Try to smell and taste the concept. That means we have to use our sense of it. Second one is N. N stands for note taking. Visualizing the concept, structuring information by mind maps, charts, patterns, mnemonics. I will show you some PPT. Third one, I stands for introvert or break. Study in small chunks. Study for 25 to 30 minutes and take 5 minutes break. And do something different to divert your mind. Fourth one, Q stands for question paper. Collect the previous year's question paper, underline the concept and get back to the test book. Try to understand those concepts which we found in question paper. Fifth one is U. U stands for understanding. Learning is not always memorizing. Learning is internalizing the concept. So try to understand what you read. Brain is not the place to keep all the storage. Moreover, need to keep your ideas and information. So what you read is not that important as how or why you read that. So try to question the concept and try to understand better. Sixth one, E stands for exercise. Try to do exercise in between your studies. Try to hit gym or whatever exercise you like. Uh, as you give exercise to your body, your brain gets oxygen. The more and more oxygen the brain gets, it performs well. Oxygen is power. Oxygen is energy. Oxygen is happiness. Oxygen is joy. Oxygen uh, is relaxation. Definitely, this will help you understand the concept. Personalize, personalizing the concept. Internalizing the concept. It will help you to remember better. I hope you all got an idea of history of memory. Thank you. Thank you.